I just killed a man. I had blood on me still. I was the most traumatic event of my life. Travis McMichael, one of three white men on trial for the killing of 25-year-old Ahmad Arbery, was cross-examined by a Georgia prosecutor on Thursday. Linda Dunikowski zoomed in on apparent inconsistencies of McMichael's accounts of pursuing and fatally shooting Arbery as he ran through a mostly white neighborhood in February 2020. He just ran. Yes, he was just running. A day earlier, McMichael claimed he shot Arbery in self-defense after Arbery grabbed at his gun at the end of a five-minute chase. This is a life-or-death situation. But on Thursday, McMichael conceded that he had told police that day that he could not say for sure whether Arbery actually grabbed his gun. Detective Nohilly specifically asked you, do you remember if he grabbed the shotgun at all? And your response was, I want to say he did, but honestly, I cannot remember. But why I said he did not have the gun at that second, I don't know why. McMichael on Thursday also admitted that he did not explicitly mention in a police interview on the day of the shooting, nor in a written statement, that Arbery turned and ran when he was told police were on the way. You're telling this jury that you're all confused and you can't get the facts straight as you're telling the police about why it was you shot and killed a man. I was trying with my best ability, but like I said, under the circumstances of, of going through a traumatic event, being scattered as it was, I could tell that obviously I failed attempting to try as best I could. Danikowski contrasted that with the more aggressive language his father used. He yelled him, stop, stop. That's when your father yelled at him, stop or I'll blow your fucking head off. I don't think so, no. All right, well, you don't think so? I mean, you were standing right there. You heard your father say this, yes? I, I don't think I heard him say that, no, no. But you know that's what he told the police he said. Uh, in here in court is what I heard, yes, ma'am. Travis and his father, Gregory McMichael, are on trial for Arbery's death alongside their neighbor, William Roddy Bryan, whose cell phone video of the shooting caused national outrage. On Thursday, a group of black pastors assembled outside the Brunswick court to offer prayers for Arbery and his family. The rally was organized after Brian's lawyer unsuccessfully asked for a ban on black pastors coming into the courtroom after Reverend Jesse Jackson and other activists sat with Arbery's parents. How many pastors does the Arbery family have? 